exit strategy is key, guys. For, for anyone to bring investor, you have to have a real path to an exit for that investor, even for yourself or for that investor. Don't fear failure. As long as it's not gonna kill you, it's gonna make you what? Stronger. What's up, people? Um, I'm back on the vlog, back in Kigali. We had a chance to be on the ACA Summit. Very interesting, man. There was a lot of uh, talk in different aspects. So raising capital, there was a um, conversation about uh, uh, merger and acquisition. Very interesting. Might do a talk, I might do a vlog about this one. But one of the sessions that was really, really good um, was exit strategy. It was, it was very enlightening. I mean, we, we've had investors before and um, there is talks about exit strategy and how we're going to exit, but I never fully understood until I, I, I attended this session, right? If you're going to bring investors in your company, they need to know how they're gonna get their money back. But the most common way they're gonna get their money back is to ex exit strategy. There have to be a way to exit uh, for them to, to, to cash out, you know, for whatever reason. And it, it's striking because we talk about exit strategy, we talk about exit strategy, but the ecosystem in Africa is non-existent. So they were mentioning some of the the different exit strategy that company can have, you know, um, IPOs, which is the most common, or merger or acquisition. Those are the two big ones, which are non-existence in Africa, for a start. It, it blew my mind. In the States, you have company with just a prototype selling that technology to other bigger companies. Mergers. Uh, that are very common. And of course you have IPOs. I, I, personal, personally, and I'm just speculating, I'm pretty sure Jumia already had planned the IPO from way, way back before it started. I think that was part of the equation. I don't think they had raised so much money, that much money, if they didn't factor that in in that equation and says to the investor, hey, this is our target, this is what we're trying to accomplish, we'll, we'll be doing an IPO. But what exit strategy do you have? At ARED, we used to tell investor, well, you know, if another investor come, they can buy you in. But that's, that's, that's a tough sell also, because you have to be uh, uh, able to find more investors that want to buy in. But then that new investor, will, uh, how are they going to exit out? You know, for us now at ARE, we, we, we definitely believe we'll get acquired at some point, most likely by a telecom company. Because the technology we develop is really revolutionizing the way connectivity and, and access to digital services is done in, in different areas. So for, for telecoms that are shifting into uh, technology uh, uh, space, they got a they have to be able uh, to look for new technology instead of trying to develop technology themselves. One of the problems though, and I've talked about it in a lot of lot, a lot of problem with our African telecom company, they tend to want to develop everything themselves. You don't hear about acquisition and merger, except, except Safaricom. And I did a vlog about that, I'll, I'll add it on the, at the end, a very interesting vlog that I did, how, how Safaricom has shifted from a telecom company to now uh, a technology company, acquiring companies, investing in technology company, et cetera, et cetera, that want to utilize the network. So that's a different topic. But exit, without an exit strategy, it's going to be very, very difficult for you to bring investors, you know? And this is more of a, of a two-way street conversation. What other exit strategy do you guys may know? Another thing that was very interesting, some of the investment 
mechanism that have been developed more and more in Africa is a revenue sharing structure. So somebody invests X and get three X back. But that's a very difficult model if you're a startup, if you're still developing your technology and you have a long-term approach and you're not sure uh, when you're gonna get some real traction and all those things. But those are the mechanisms that they were talking about. But exit strategy is key, guys. For, for anyone to bring investors, you have to have a real path to an exit for that investor, even for yourself or for that investor. And unfortunately, we don't have a regional um, you know, stock market. Most countries have a little stock market option, but it's just not, it's not feasible to do an IPO in those stock markets. I, I won't even focus on that one. I think merge and acquisition is, is much more possible. The only challenge I've seen in Africa is merge and acquisition is done on a high level for big corporations, big companies. But we have yet to develop, you know, M&A for uh, technology, smaller company, medium-sized company. I've yet to see too much of that on the continent, unfortunately. So there has to be an ecosystem. And, and I realize more and more now, as I go and travel and, and raise more capital outside the continent, where, why are we, we falling behind? Why are we falling behind? Why are we unable to bring more investment for, for, for innovation or technology company or, or innovative company and all those interesting companies out there? The second thing feedback I got from ACA, uh, there was a session about investing in Africa uh, that was run by BitNetwork. And the feedback we got mostly is, you know, their worries, the number one worries was political instability. So there's a huge misinformation about Africa. Um, and that unfortunately you can't control. All you can do is we need to produce more and more and more of that narrative about Africa. That's really what I'm trying to do, you know, to educate people that Africa is not what it used to be, that things are changing. Yes, there's still challenges, but you know, there's challenges everywhere. But there, there has to be some type of, um, narrative change and, and, and engage into those narratives. Because uh, if those investors have to come to Africa, they have to feel comfortable and safe that their money is well protected. And Big Network did a great job. We talked about where Rwanda is ranked, where Africa is growing, fastest growing eco economies are in Africa. The population is gonna triple in, in 80 plus years. We're gonna be around 4 billion people you know, that's a huge market size. We're going to be the fastest growing market and, and population growth in the world. But the stats are there, the documenting and all those things. It's just a matter now of getting the narrative so people can feel more comfortable. But guys, if you're a startup, think about your exit strategy. If you're going to bring investors, think about exit strategy from the beginning. Now I'm gonna end with this, man. If you don't have an exit strategy, it's gonna be very difficult for you to pitch to investor and tell them, no, investor, we'll figure it out as we go. It's not gonna work like that. Trying to figure out what company would be interested in, 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 in buying you up uh, at some point or merge you, merging with you guys. Uh, what, what, what industry uh, would be very interested in what you have developed, et cetera, et cetera. And then do a plan. List all those companies, come up with an idea. It doesn't have to be accurate, but at least you can pitch that to investors and be like, yeah, listen, this is what we're doing. And when we get to that level, we can start talking about merger and acquisition. Um, I think that's the, the only way out of this, uh, this aspect. All right, guys, take care. What's up, everybody? First of all, thank you for watching all the videos. I'm working on a project right now that I'm really, really passionate about. It's called the 50K Challenge. And that's 50,000 copies we need to sell of the book. Out of every 20 sales, I'll be giving one book to a young entrepreneur or young students. And out of every 500 sales, I'll do a one week mentorship to a young entrepreneur. I truly believe with your support, I can achieve that goal, guys. So share the books. If you haven't got it, get it. If you don't like to read, buy it for somebody else. And please share it also on social media. Thank you.